Hi everybody, it's a Sunday afternoon and I am sitting next to the washing machine at the Holiday Inn Express. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> anyway, here are so goofy. Um, when I got here, it was standing straight up with ick for like four days of duck. But anyway, um, so uh, Ladybug is with me and we're doing our laundry. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have a nice dinner tonight. Yesterday we shared a pizza and uh, ended up not finishing it, either one of us, so that was kind of good. So um, this morning we walked down to Ingalls and did some resupply, and um, I think I needed to get bigger Ziploc bags, but um, we shared some stuff and split it up. So um, between us, I think we both spent about $45, or so it was kind of expensive for four days of food, but it is what it is. So, uh, anyway, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to get back on trail. I'm a little bit anxious uh, to get back on trail. It's, it's um, um, 41 today is the, is the high, and tomorrow it's going to go down, like tonight it's going to go down to like 22 or something. So everybody's trying to get off the trail because it's going to be cold, but at least it's not raining. Last time it rained and we were inside. So, anyway, feel good. So uh, there's one washing machine and one dryer, and six hikers just came in, so we raced up here fast to get it in before they did. <laughs> one washing machine for a hotel this size, that's crazy. Anyway, I'll back later. Well, you will never guess who just showed up, and I am at uh, U-Turn's door, and Ladybug and U-Turn are in here with a surprise guest. Forever. Have you? I'm so yes. sorry. I know. Oh. No. And then I got out of here and I didn't know anything was going on with you. And then I heard you had bronchitis and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, now, well, the hiker, the hiker grapevine now has me dying of pneumonia. Oh, <laughs> and you're not. So I'm back on trail tomorrow, but the hiker yeah. grapevine says I'm dying of pneumonia. Okay, well you're not. Knows. That's good. So, okay, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Well, hello again. I am on Poor Mountain. I might have um, already passed it. I'm not really sure. Um, but there's like a cliff on this side. And then there's a cliff on this side. And the trail's going up, so I decided to stop and take a breather for about, I don't know, three or four minutes. Just so I can catch my breath. Ladybug's gone ahead to try to save a campsite at um, a low gap shelter area. It says there's four. There's five people that have passed us. So she jumped ahead and see if she could uh, maybe find a couple spots together. So when I get there, I get there. Anyway, it's very, very pretty up here. Very cold. Um, 47 degrees is what they just said. And uh, I got my sleeves pushed up because I'm really hot. Anyway, yeah, that's about it for now. All right, this is a Georgia totem pole on the AT. Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's um, 30 degrees, and I'm at um, Chattahoochee Gap. Um, trying to figure out how to work this thing. I ended up having to get a new phone. And then I lost it on the trail. <laughs> oh, panic and frustration, as my daughter would say. <laughs> yeah, I had to go back. And um, 
I passed a couple of people and they hadn't seen it. And then I passed one person and they said, oh yeah, he's got it. So then I was able to meet a nice person named Brian from Indiana who um, was also a bicycler and who had bicycled around the country. And he was telling me a little bit about that. It was kind of neat. But anyway, um, I'm still with Ladybug. We've got, um, last Tonight was our last night together. She's going to um, go on up to... Um, standing no no top of georgia costal and i'm gonna probably take a, a nero to uh tonight um unless i can find a still site close by because uh, it's gonna rain and i'm <laughs> i know i'm a wimp <laughs> i'm not a wimp i'm doing it i'm doing this i'm doing this <laughs> anyway uh, ah, um still trying to figure out the phone um the sun is coming up finally it's, it was 30 degrees when, when I got up and my, um, uh, my fuel had fall, fallen out of my silk liner. I don't know. I must have been tossing and turning all night. There's a song in there somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, um, and, um, so I couldn't light my stove. So I have to wait a little while till it warms up. So I've got it in my front pocket inside my jacket and, uh, I mean, my puffy coat. Got to learn the terminology here. <laughs> he is warming up, so then I can make my last cup of coffee. And, uh, oh, anyway, on the way, here we go. I'm trying to make longer videos, but I have to stay stuff. And that's hard. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep taking my phone out, especially since I took it out and did lots, lots of videos and then lost it. So fell out of the pocket. Anyway, today's the, um, what is today? Wednesday, the second, third, the third of April. <laughs> Back to you later. So this is Chattahoochee Gap and, huh? Yeah, right here. Chattahoochee Gap. Yeah. And, um, Chattahoochee choo choo. <laughs> anyway, we're it's nine twenty and we're on our way. It's going ahead of me. She said it's a great signal. We should film, so I'm filming. She took lots of good pictures of me climbing up that last rock scramble. It was horrible. Look at how uh, steep it is. That's what we've been going up. And now we finally reached a flat place, which, if you can tell, is not really flat. But it's a lot flatter than it was. And uh, that's going northbound. And then here's my cliff. And, <laughs> and it's straight down. And uh, if you can see the angle of the trees, you can see how it really is very, very steep. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm happy. Ooh. Look at that cool tree up there. Yeah, cool. Whew. Until next time. Hello, everybody. Smile, ladybug. Where are we? Mile marker 50. Yay! <laughs> 50 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Do the dance, do the dance. We're dancing. It's making everyone dizzy now. <laughs> okay. Nobody's dizzy. And I'm not dizzy. I'm just out of breath. Anyway, it's a good water source. I haven't filled up yet, but I plan on staying here for about a half an hour. I don't know what time it is. It is not showing up, so I don't know. Um, but I'm going to stay. One twelve. Oh, we're late. <laughs> but that's okay. With Iron Pony. And he's an Eagle Scout from North Carolina. A civil engineer. Just graduated in December and now he's doing the trail. And um, we are still at 50 miles. Haven't gone on. And he's talking about things that he's done. And he's going to stop at the Blue Mountain Shelter. He's done 12 miles today. Yeah. And we'll let you leave. Like, oh. yeah, that's a good company. So yeah. you're going to go back to them now? I think so. I might go. American Tower would like to hire me. I, they said, uh, come back when you're done hiking. So yeah. I might see what they can offer you.
Yeah, buy their stock. Great dividend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, te- the telecom industry is yeah. not going anywhere. No. There it goes. Iron Pony and my friend Ladybug. They just came over and prayed for me. We all prayed together, and they're going to make it to Unicoi Gap. And my legs are pretty shaky, so I figure I need to eat. But they're the, they're really cool, and I miss them already. <laughs> it's been, I've only known her like four days, and I feel like we've shared so much. And I'm crying just because I'm by myself, me and Jesus, and we're having a good time. And I'm going to sing, and I'm going to pray, and and I'm going too fast. And there's the uh, good old Big Agnes in my garbage. <laughs> my pack explosion that hasn't exploded yet. I lost my red, um, my red, um, uh, steak, my tent steak, my curly one. But... God provided, the trail provided this morning, um, there was a curly one, one of those curly steaks, you know, the candy cane ones, that uh, somebody had actually stuck into <laughs> a log right next to where I camped, so I picked it up so I have enough still. So the trail provides, the trail provides, and I even have my very own campfire if I decide I need one. I'm just emotional because I'm tired and hungry. My sugar is probably low. But it's just a beautiful day. And I'm going to hang my bear bag right there. That lovely branch right there. It's a good place. And uh, there are bears here. Um, somebody posted on Gut Hooks a couple days ago. So there is definitely bears here. So tonight we will be. I will. I will. It's me alone. I'm going to be hanging my bear bag and uh, probably peeing over there. OMG, it's a velociraptor!